A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and making this 4x4 off-roading trip through Iceland possible. Looks like we got our first river crossing. Oh, and I'm driving. Are you nervous? No, I, this car is so capable. It's like... So we need to put low range on. Okay. Here is your depth meter. This is red. Where we're at, 60. That is in the red zone. This is definitely our deepest water crossing so far. Right? But the, the ground is really nice. It's all like small rocks. Okay, cool. So it should be okay. Let's do it. Good luck. That's me, Dana. And that's my husband, Blue. And this is Gregor. He is a ground up rebuild of a military grade Mercedes Benz G Wagon 4x4. He was made with one idea in mind off roading. This six cylinder overlanding camper van has 245 horsepower and two snorkels, which gives Gregor the ability to do river crossings with ease. We got the chance to drive this beautiful Mercedes G-Class thanks to Lou's cousin Tim and his wife Rika, who asked us to return this incredible off-roading G-Wagon from Iceland to their home in Germany. So yeah, there's a lot more I could say about this whole overlanding adventure through Iceland. But most of all, I'm just grateful. Let me show you why Iceland is the most intense, wild, beautiful place we've ever visited and why it's perfect for van life. No matter where we are in the world, we like to start our mornings in a van with a nice cup of tea. But today is special because we're having a van life first. Water boiled with an electric kettle. Fancy in this car. You don't see that every day in a camper van. We can take our tea lattes and go. We actually do need to go. We need to go shopping. Packing up this overlanding camper van feels like prepping a spaceship for takeoff. That's the wrong way. Yeah, it's going to take a little getting used to compared to our old rusty van. Ta-da! Gregor. Let's get him washed. All hey. Right. Here we go. <laughs> so we just gotta dump the gray water and then get some gas. Get me a new poncho, maybe buy some bread, and then we're gonna do our first bit of off-roading. Oh my god, it's like what Gregor was built for. 4x4 off-roading in Iceland is all about the river crossings. But before we can safely drive into the Icelandic wilderness, we need to stock up on groceries. We bought a couple of treats, some chocolate and kombucha, but to keep costs down in Iceland, we stocked up on our favorite staples. To be honest, we eat rice and beans pretty much every day. The canned beans are a bit more expensive, but make life a lot easier in a van. Iceland can be pretty expensive, but cooking all our own meals in the van and never eating out at restaurants or drinking any alcohol helps save money for our two main expenses, diesel fuel and campsite fees. So we went a little overboard on groceries. We were very hungry. There's a lot of storage, and this woman is amazing at storing things. I've lived in a van for a long time now, so I'm excited to get used to this new storage system. They actually have incredible drawers, which is something that we don't have in our other van, which makes it much easier to get things organized and access them. Once you put them into deep storage, you can easily get them because of the drawers. That is how you pack a fridge. <laughs> okay. Good job, Dana. Thank you. And we have these too, I forgot. Oh yeah, frozen veggies. Yes. Very nice. Isn't it funny that they have the same fridge as us? And so the adventure begins. You have arrived. This is it? Yeah. All right, so we are here. Okay. We're gonna go up this road and go to Locky, which is a mountain. That's supposed to be really cool. And then we'll drive down this way, check out these lakes, and there's a campsite right here. Okay. And that's where we're gonna spend the night. What? Yeah. It's so beautiful here. <laughs> this looks amazing, but guys, look at this here. And all the sheepies. 
Now the real adventure is going to begin. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? <laughs> All right, quick pit stop. We have to deflate the tires for gravel roads. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. All right, so we need to go down to 2.5. All right, and now the best part about this car is you can check the tire pressure inside and see if you did it right. We got 2.6, 2.5, 2.75, 2.7. Aye. So that's like very close. I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> so Google Maps ends here pretty much. So now we're gonna go to Gaia GPS. And my cousin Tim has already routed all of these trails in for us. No. Yep, so here we are. Okay. At the base. And we just follow his nice route. Cool. Thanks, Tim. Dana's driving. My turn, driving Gregor. It's so much easier than I thought. It takes potholes like it's nothing. It's so simple. It's automatic, too. Yeah. All right, our first river crossing. Hey, hey. <clears throat> wow. Go, Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> Dana, you just drove through the river. That was so sick. You okay. Drove the river. It's so fun. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. Thanks for letting me drive. Yeah. It's really fun. Gregor is a champion. It's <laughs> such a powerful car. It's just like so much German engineering. And it's just amazing because you get to be on this road. Like, this is insane. This is probably the most beautiful place I've ever been. Right? Yeah. I told you, Iceland is like, it's I knew it. If we could yeah. get here in Iceland, this would be the most beautiful place we've ever been. Yeah, for real. I just like, everywhere you look right now, it's just like mountains. Yeah. Okay, mister. All right, this is our first big river crossing. So I got the waders on, and I'm gonna walk out and check the depth. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be very deep, but why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what in Iceland? Look at Lou in the middle of a river. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Waterfall. <laughs> up the little hill you go. I go up here? Yeah. Okay, there's a parking lot. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Isn't this not the most fun ever? It's so cool. Thank you, Tim. This is literally the coolest toy ever. <laughs> so want to park over here? Yeah. <laughs> Those are so cool, I think. Yeah. And snack time. Like this. 
too bad you couldn't just sleep here. No. Right? Bye, Gregor. Dana, do you have to go to the bathroom? Because apparently they have them here. I actually just peed outside. I didn't think there would be any bathrooms out here. Now I know. Now I know. Aww. I never thought I would like really enjoy off-roading. I don't know why, but it's really fun. You know? Uh -huh. I'm not like that into machines, but like the fact that this can do this is so cool. Ta-da! And that is how you cross a river. <laughs> That is actually not how you execute a river crossing perfectly. According to the local Icelandic people we made friends with, slow and steady is the name of the game. But a fully upgraded Mercedes G-Wagon is very forgiving of rookie mistakes like driving a little too fast. This is our first big overlanding trip, so we're still getting the hang of this whole off-roading thing. We have a lot of experience with van life in our 1981 Mercedes, but four-wheel drive in a military-grade off-road camper is completely new to us. Waiters are going back on. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> so. Here is your depth meter. This is red, where we're at 60. And see there on that pole, that is in the red zone. So he is gonna go in. This is definitely our deepest water crossing so far. Right? But the, the ground is really nice. It's all like small rocks. Okay, cool. So it should be okay. Let's do it. Good luck. Oh my god, that was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, did you see that it got kind of caught at yeah. one point? I was like, oh my god, I'm thinking I'm shaking a lot. Like, oh, is the car turning off? And then it's like, no, I think it just like, once it gets that deep in the water, it like needs to like go a little bit slower or something. <laughs> oh job. my gosh, we did it. High five. What did you think? That was definitely the coolest driving I've ever done. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. This is just so crazy. I just feel like, I don't know, normally to get this remote, you have to go on some sort of like through hike a long, long time carrying all your stuff. And it's just so remarkable to be able to drive and have endless scenery, like as far as you can see with nobody else on the road and just so beautiful. As we drive into camp for the night after our very first day of overlanding through Iceland, I like to take this moment to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this four by four trip. We might be novice off-roaders, but thanks to our beautiful website, we can upload a bunch of photos from the adventure through Iceland and look like real professionals in a matter of minutes thanks to the gorgeous portfolio designs and customizable layouts. So if you'd like a beautiful website to display your work, head to squarespace.com slash wildweroam for a free trial and you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Is everything. Ah, <sighs> should we make dinner? Yeah, turn the lights on. Ta-da! What's for dinner? Spaghettios. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for dinner. You're welcome. What a fun day. Yeah. Thanks for letting me drive, babe. <sighs> I had so much fun learning to off-road. Also, I love this. Got this for you. <laughs> <laughs>